Hello, amazing people. So today we have the new pegs. They came in, which is cool. I have not done anything other than open the box, make sure everything was in here. All sorts of little doodads. These are extra pe uh, studs or whatever you want to call them. Springs. I'm not sure if I even need those. I could put them on, I suppose. Oh, and they come with extra posts, which is nice. So what I was going to do... I need to open these up. Alright, let me, uh... Let me, uh, get the... Let me get the tripod! Yeah, initially what I wanted to do was get some IMS pegs. With, uh, they're made in America, and I'd like to support that as best I can. But as I did some more research, I sort of found that the IMS ones are so aggressive. At least the ones I was looking at, they're so aggressive, they're really designed for MX. And, uh... uh with a much different boot. The ADV boots tend to get chewed up by them is what I was discovering from people kind of who had used them and switched out or whatever. So I definitely didn't want that. Um, the other thing I was hoping for was one that was adjustable either in angle or also potentially in height. Okay, so yeah, let's um, they are not animals. So these are similar to lots of them that you see out there, these are the screw-in um, little nubs. And I know a lot of people will pull them out, put some Loctite on them and, so they don't lose them. And I'll look into that once I once I see if they even fit on the bike. Because the last pair I tried to purchase um, didn't even fit on the bike. So I'll do a test fit make sure that works. The thing that's kind of cool about this, again, from the research, whether it's, you know, assuming it's a high-quality piece, the um, uh, this here allows for... An adjustment of angle so this would could be adjusted in the angle this way but then also it has if you want it's a little a little tough so I'll put it out of the plastic here in a second this little extension piece and so you can either have it just be the post and the peg sort of traditional style or you can have it sit either down or as you change this angle you can have it be up you know if you're a rider who needed it less less reach you know seat to seat to peg if you want more seat to peg, and then obviously you could also go front to back a little bit. So that's kind of that's kind of my thought is to see um, how these go, and then make sure I still have access, uh, no problem, to the uh, shifter and whatnot. So let's get down and get dirty, I guess. That didn't come across right. Okay, let's. Uh... Come on, focus on that. Can you focus? See that? Stupid, different type of head. Okay, it's still just a, currently a test fit situation. I don't even know. Oh, I see. It's got nice notches in there. Can you see that? Again, I'll try to get this. Sorry about the focus. Just too close. Too far, too close, too far. There we go. See that? A little hard to see, but it allows for some adjustment. This won't work. I can use the. No, I fit this nicely. It's actually a pretty nice little piece. See the um, see the uh, post the I don't know what even I guess the post I don't know what to call it. What is this thing called? Pin. And it's pretty nicely machined little piece there. That's not too bad. And then I've put this at a slight angle, so here is kind of with the mount, and then a slight angle here so that it's dropping me, and then you know straight down obviously. And then the idea is that I can get this put on there but make sure it's the angle I want. And I guess the way you do that is through some pins, which are in here. 
and there's some short ones and some long ones and I don't see any paperwork so I do remember I do remember when I was looking at them online one of the they have the photos of all the stuff and one of them had to do with which pins go where because if you use it without the extension you're supposed to use certain pins I think or use pins in one I don't know I'll, I'll look it up okay did a little quick research on the eBay and uh, looks like they want one of the long pins but I don't why do they give me so many of them looks like I've got four yeah, I wonder if I could put extra in would that make much difference I mean I get from a, a sheer sheer strength viewpoint one pinch by all that's needed I wonder if I can get two in there should I Always try it the way they suggest it and then go from there, I guess. At least for a test fit, anyway. All right. Well, and then the other bolt they have is a different size. But fortunately, I've got that too. Whatever. All right, so long pin. I guess it goes in there. Like I said, I'm wondering, I'm, I'm going to do a test fit first, you know, based on their instructions, and then, but then I might pull it back and get another pin in there. I don't know. If any of you are mechanical engineers out there and tell me that this is plenty, um, leave me a comment. All right, where'd my wrench go? Aha! There it is. Swanky. Like I said, I still need to get everything fitted for realsies, but uh, see this little extra drop? That's kind of what I'm shooting for. That's why I got these. I am um, my my seat to peg ratio is I think just a little bit shorter than what I want especially when I'm standing. And although, again, I have, as, as you know, I have not actually done anything extended off-road on this bike yet. So it may be that it's perfectly fine the way it is, but it just felt slightly bent over. And I thought, if I can gain a little bit, maybe I don't need to do up risers. So we'll see. All right, well, this could be fun. I don't know. I need, maybe my needle nose. Get in further? Yeah. They just won't quite get in. It's not going to reach either, I don't think. Oh, getting further in. Oh, come on. Snug it up. Do the other side. And then do a test. I like it. Well, before I lock everything down with Loctite and, you know, actual torque, definitely have to take it for a test drive. I will definitely bring my tools with me just in case I want to make an adjustment. But uh, let's take a look at them. I do 
too shabby. Like I said, the, um, the fact that they're lower, that's going to be intriguing. Yeah, I'm really interested to see if that's going to make a big difference, or any difference. Maybe I won't even notice, but I imagine, imagine I'll notice. If I need to, the nice thing is I can angle it backwards, so it's a, giving me a little more gap between the peg and the shifter if I need to. Or I could, I could move it forward, but that's gap. There's just, there's just no way. I, I don't need that shorter. Um, but you know, I could angle this thing back a notch this way, and then um, you know, that's that's what I'll have to test. Do some adjusting. Do some playing around. Anyway, um, I think that's all I got for now. Talk to you later. All right, I kind of lied. I'm gonna do a quick run down the street. Just make sure it's uh, spanky. And I'll go with these guys quicker to get on. <laughs> what do they say, all the gear all the time? Yeah, not always. to not feel like she's in a refrigerator anymore. Oh, is that this thing? Maybe. <laughs> I'll have to uh, play with that. piece it sits out a little further which makes sense because you know it's got to sit somewhere it's definitely um, you have to get used to the height for oh yeah it's solid I like that platform for sure bigger than the other one. The, the angle's fine. Have to see like they were really banging around a little bit off road, but good one forward, some more midfoot there. The question I have will be does it allow me better access to shifting standing? Because I suck at it completely. I don't know, oh, I, I actually shifted. And then down. Down's a little tricky, but that's just because I'm farting around the streets here. I'm not really paying attention. I'm trying not to screw anybody up here. Oh, God, I love this bike already. It is so agile. hit it or not, but sure. Didn't want to chance it. Okay, so neutral. Yeah. Yeah, alright. These tests are for. Ugh. Yeah, so this height difference here. See, this is... I'm wondering if I'm going to is that what this adjuster is for? Can I uh, get in there and I'll probably do that. All right. All right. For reals this time. Talk to you later.